Hey guys, welcome to your Capricorn versus all 12 signs reading for February 2024. You can, uh, this, this is going to be for your February, yeah, February 2024. You can apply this to any of your placements because anything could come up. First, we're going to take a look and see what you guys need to know, what's surrounding you guys, what you guys could expect for February. And then we'll do Capricorn versus all 12 signs after that from Aries all the way to Pisces. Apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Capricorn people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post, when I go live, also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. Um, also for a quick note for the uh, you versus all tall sign portions of the read, um, I'm not time stamping them because the readings, the messages come are so quick that it's not worth time stamping. Um, it's not like uh, when I do the lies uh, for all tall signs. So if someone wants to do it for me, that would be much appreciated and thank you in advance, okay? So tell me about Capricorn. What's going on with Capricorn here? Capricorn, Capricorn. Tell me about Capricorn in February, 2024. What's surrounding Capricorn? What does Capricorn need to know for February 2024? Tell me about Capricorn for February 2024 for Capricorn. Capricorn. Tell me about Capricorn. Six of Cups here in the Hierophant. Okay. This could be an indication that someone here is missing you. Okay, or that someone here just has some deep loyalty to you. Uh, this could be an indication if this is not a past person, this is someone that you've been together for a very, 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 very long time. And if you're worried about someone here leaving you, I don't feel like this person's gonna leave because this person has loyalty here towards you. Uh, yeah, I just feel like this person's seeing you as their happiness. This person's seeing fulfillment here with you. This person's really happy with you or that you could be happy with the person that you're dealing with here, uh, Capricorn. So the Hierophant, Taurus energy, the Sun, Nine of Cups here. Uh, and then we have the Ten of Pentacles, Wowzers, and the King of Pentacles, okay. Yeah, between you and this person, things are going really, really well when it comes to this, perhaps this romantic relationship that you're in here. Um, uh, if you're by yourself, if you're not dealing with anybody here, like I said, someone here from your past could be coming back, okay? But in terms of you as an individual right now, you're just doing really well. You're happy. Your finances are well. You know, I feel like you are making efforts to really connect with a higher power here and continue on or, you know, just... Um, and just uh, doing your daily spiritual practices here. You know, I just feel like you're really committed to it. You're really disciplined uh, with it too. So I'm with the Six of Cups here. Why is the Six of Cups here? Six of Cups and the King of Swords. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini here with the Hierophant. Why is the Hierophant here and the Queen of Swords? Yeah, okay. Um, so I do feel like there is a soul tie here. King of Swords and the Queen of Swords, okay. These two individuals are looking away from each other. So this is past person that's trying to come back around. This is someone that you're not trying to pay any sort of attention to. So, you know, what Capricorn, so when it comes to this person, I feel like you just don't really give a flying leap what this person thinks. I just feel like you should just really focus on yourself and really focus on your happiness and your pentacles at this time here. The sun, why is the sun card here? The sun. We have the three of pentacles. Could be a situation that... You might have been working on a project at work here, and I feel like the results of this project is really good. I feel like your boss could be really happy with the results. Your colleagues could be ha really happy with the results or that you could be really happy with the results here. The Nine of Cups here and the Two of Cups, yeah. Nine of Cups and the Two of Cups. I mean, you could be in a new relationship with somebody here. Yeah, so maybe that King of Swords is a past person and that Queen of Swords is you. You found someone here that is really loyal to you. You found someone here that's really committed to you. You found someone that uh, works really well together here with you. Some of you guys could be like in business with this person here too. You, you're in business with this romantic lover here. The Two of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles here. Things are going really well for you. Yeah, I feel like that King of Swords is a past person. 
Uh, and I feel like that King of Pentacles is someone that you're currently dealing with where I feel like things are going really well. Oh, wow. King to Queen of Pentacles here. Interesting. Yeah, so two, two things here. Past person could be coming back and you don't care. You're happy with where you're at or that you're in a relationship with the person and, and you could be in business with the person that you're in a relationship here with and things are going really well. Yeah, whatever you're starting here with the Ace of Pentacles, I feel like it's going to be really, really, really successful here. Okay, let's see what else we have here. Tell me about Capricorn versus all tall signs. Capricorn versus all tall signs. Tell me about Capricorn versus all tall signs for February. 2024 from Aries all the way to Pisces. I'm not okay. I'm not taking any jumpers here. I'm pulling them. Okay, Capricorn versus the Aries here. We have the Four of Swords here and the Chariot. Things are moving forward pretty well between you and this person. I feel like you guys are kind of coasting here. Things are pretty peaceful. Things are pretty stable here between you and this Aries uh, 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 Capricorn. Tell me about Capricorn versus a Taurus here. And the Five of Wands here and the Eight of Pentacles. I feel like you guys are definitely dealing with the obstacles here. But I feel like this person's intentions is to remove those obstacles and overcome those obstacles here with the Eight of Pentacles and the Five of Wands here. Uh, could be a situation that there's other people getting involved in your situation. You know, instead of your person talking to you, this person's running around talking to other people yeah so uh tell me about capricorn versus a gemini here with the hierophant here to, uh, and the wheel of fortune i feel like this person is realizing that you guys are destined or that you guys are meant to be together here okay um capricorn versus a cancer here we have the uh, five of pentacles here and the magician here whoever this is i feel like this person is missing you and i feel like this person is trying to manifest you back okay so the magician and the Five of Pentacles. Tell me about uh, Capricorn versus a Leo here. We have the Moon card, Cancer. Uh, why am I reading out the signs here? Um, this person's definitely holding out on you uh, when it comes to their emotions. I feel like this person's not really sharing a whole lot with you. And I feel like this person's incredibly mysterious here. Okay, so uh, Capricorn versus a Virgo. We have the Seven of Swords here and the Queen of Swords. This person's a liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire here. You can't trust this person, okay? I do feel like this person's in... I do feel like this person's like a snake in a cocktail dress. Yeah, I just feel like this person could be very, 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 very well put together, very poised, but this person's a liar, okay? Tell me about uh, Cancer, uh, not Cancer, uh, Capricorn versus a Libra here. We have the King of Cups and the Strength card. This person has really strong feelings here towards you. This person's in love with you. Okay, I do feel like this person's also lusting over you, that this person's very sexually attracted to you. Uh, Capricorn versus a Scorpio here with the Knight of Swords here and the Emperor. Um, this person says a lot of mean things here and is very controlling. Okay, uh, that's all I need to say about this person. Yeah, they're very, very, very controlling and this person says very, very, very mean things. This person has a bit of a razor sharp tongue. Uh, Capricorn versus a Sagittarius with the Six of Cups here and the High Priestess. Um, this person's definitely punting messages to you, letting you know that they missed you. So I feel like you might have a telepathy thing with this individual. Capricorn versus a Capricorn. We have the Devil, Capricorn, uh, and the Knight of... Uh, this person's toxic as F. Okay, this person's completely obsessed with you. All this person's looking for with you is sex and to fulfill their sexual fantasies and kinks here. Okay, Capricorn versus the Aquarius here with the Judgment card here and the Three of Pentacles. I feel like this person wants to come back around and work things out here with you. So I feel like this person wants to make their this second chance with you worth it, this reconciliation worth it here. Capricorn versus the Pisces here with the Four of Pentacles here and the Nine of Cups. Um, this person's incredibly selfish. Um, if you're hoping that this person is going to share a part of themselves with you, this person's not going to do it. Uh, they're just keeping all their cups lined up for themselves here. They don't want to share anything with you. I do feel like this person's a bit greedy. greedy. This person's a great, bit greedy and also very grabby here, okay? So Capricorn, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys, bye.